Hey guys, it's Alex, an Asian truck driver. For today's video, basically Jen and I, we're going to travel 10 hours. We're going to drive out from Deerfield Beach, Florida, and we're going to drive up basically 10 hours to Atlanta, Georgia, near Buford, Georgia. So they're basically right by each other. We're going to go visit some friends and some family members, and we're going to have a great time. Catch me soon. When two trucks, two trucks are next to each other, you know, you don't really want to be in someone else's shower. You remember when you were a kid and you were in a swing set and you swing the same and you say, get out of my kitchen. Yeah, that's unsafe. So finally someone backed up. That's good because that's not safe at all, guys. Bye. Hey guys, we finally made it. We drove 10 hours just to get here. <laughs> Um, I drove 10 and she didn't really drive. We were supposed I drove, to. I drove one hour. We were supposed I drove to. an hour. We were supposed to split it up. We drove from Deerfield Beach, Florida, and we drove up to uh, ATL, Georgia, which is about no, 10 we're hours. In Buford. Basically, it's right next to each other. And okay. basically, I drove all the way. We were supposed to split it up, but it didn't happen. Well, but you we know what? Went, we left like around 11 p.m. at night, and so I working all day and so I mean like what do you want me to like drive? Alright we'll talk about that later. <laughs> First off we just want to give a quick shout out. We're at our family member's house. I mean I don't want to even say it but you know they <laughs> got it going on. It's nice. It's, it's nice. I really really love it. Let's check out the it's view. A beautiful home. Let's check out the view. Uh, 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 uh. We got trees. Look at that. Yeah. They got deers, pet deers, yeah, wolves, so coyotes. Their backyard is overlooking that. All right, that's amazing, right? So, Beautiful. basically what I want to talk about today is, I was able to drive 10 hours straight, and so, since I didn't tell Jenna about this at all, so I like just asking her questions. Um, why do most people not want to become truck drivers? I mean, what are, you know, are what is the one thing that most people would be afraid about when they're, uh, starting out with truck driving? Do you think it's the lifting? Do you think it's the driving part? I mean, what what is the part that scares a normal person about being on the road? Well, if it was me, it would probably be using the bathroom. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to like stop every like two, three hours. Okay, actually we could talk about that. But for most people- I gotta pee sometimes. But for most people, when they ask me about trucking, they worry about the driving part. They worry about, you know, they barely drive two hours and they already get tired. So let's talk about that real quick. Oh yeah, getting tired would be the second thing. Okay, so the number one thing with driving, and a lot of people do it, I've done it myself when I first started, was we do what it takes to stay up and keep awake because it's dangerous and it is basically against the law to be tired or actually be sick as well. And if you can't operate your commercial vehicle, you can get in big trouble. So that right there is a big deal. Now, what do you, so if you're tired, right? And I'm asking her for the first time, what kind of, uh, what would you do to stay up? I listen to music, talk to friends. You call your friends a lot. Um, uh, drink Red Bull. You drink Red Bull, I don't drink any. Um, eat some snacks, probably frequent stops, take a nap. Okay, she was actually close. So, you know, I don't do this as much as I used to. My arm hurts holding the phone. I'll hold it for you. No, <laughs> let me let me flip this. Let me hold this for her real quick. So basically, what I do is, like she said, energy drinks and caffeine and soda. They're actually really bad for you. And I've I've stopped doing this, and this is my goal this year too. So this is something I need to work on. Is for the ones that don't know. I mean, caffeine is actually a legal drug, okay? It's, it's a stimulant that basically what it does is it blocks your hormones that tells your brain that you're tired. Man, I sound kind of smart there. Kind of. But, so, it works for a little bit and then you crash out. And the number one thing that leads to people falling asleep, of course, is being fatigued, okay? So, caffeine can actually dehydrate you and that can cause fatigue. 
So what I'm telling you guys right now is water is the number one thing to do to stay awake as far as if you're driving. When you are not driving, taking a nap, like Jenna said, is best because that's the only way to regenerate. But you, sometimes it's so hard because you're like on a time crunch. I know, but I'm just saying. And then there's also the electric, what, those electronic logs. logs. And yeah. we can talk about that later. But the big thing is about getting a good night's sleep because you're not allowed to have any alcohol at all when you're driving. You know what I mean? You could be point zero 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 one, and that could be a bad thing. But I'm telling you this, and a lot of people don't know, is after 18 hours of staying awake, they say that your level would be the same as a point oh five, you know, alcohol level. And they say I think point oh eight is drunk for cars. So think about that. If you stay up longer than 18 hours. You're already feeling those symptoms. So do not do that. So drink a lot of water. Work on that. And another thing is, she said snacks. Snacks is actually a good thing. Because what you're doing is, you can snack while you're eating. And I do that too. And try to eat alternative healthy snack, okay? Not Snickers, not mini Snickers, not mini anything, okay? That makes you more sleepy. I noticed that was easy. But what it does is... That makes you want to go to the bathroom again. She goes to the bathroom a lot, guys. So the thing is, is do not, you know, uh, do not do what she's talking about at all. It's not gonna make you, it's not that bad. What's gonna happen is if you eat a healthy snack, you know, walnuts, uh, shell pistachios, Great. grapes, fruit. dry fruit, it's gonna keep your mind busy and that's gonna keep you awake. Beef jerky okay? is really good too. Oh, I love beef jerky. But that's the thing here. So training yourself to drive far is it's it's a job it's the way we live our lifestyle and the only way you're going to be able to do that is if you get a good night's sleep you drink a lot of water i know you're gonna to have to go pee but it's better to go pee and uh have break stops than drive and be sleepy so take out caffeine from your life all right do that because when it comes down to it when you're drinking that caffeine all you're really doing is this withdrawals that's what they would say there's a study that says that when people don't drink their coffee because they need it so much right that they get a withdrawal from it and then it keeps them al uh, alive per se awake for a couple hours and then they crash and burn so drink water eat fruits or snacks don't call your friends i know i do that that's bad don't call your friends and you'll be able to drive 10 hours so i got a good night's sleep all right i drank a lot i i drank I drank. I you drunk. Drank? I drank a lot, a lot of water, and I, I and I was able to get here uh, safely. And we did get tired for a little bit, and I took a quick power nap for about five minutes. So, a couple tips for all the new guys, you know, to work on because this driving game is no is is no, is, is no joke, it's man. No joke. So you know, take care, guys. I love you guys. We're gonna be out here in ATL, you know chilling but at the end of the day i want to thank you know burr autumn yes thank you burr and autumn and your kids you know for having us and we appreciate you guys please like the video please subscribe stay safe stay safe don't drink caffeine <laughs> eat some snacks drink water take stay your healthy. pee breaks be healthy peace out